Hi everybody, I'm Christina Mascari of Pretty Distressed and I am a furniture flipper here on YouTube. I take pieces of furniture and make them over every week and share tutorials here on YouTube. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you the 10 ways that I make money as a YouTuber. I think this is gonna be great information for anybody thinking about getting into YouTube and it's just gonna be you know, really interesting if you're not thinking about being a YouTuber, it's just interesting to see how this whole thing works and how you can make money at it. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Today's video is sponsored by Cricut and a little bit later in the video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make custom merch just like this sweatshirt to sell or market your small business. I started my YouTube channel back in 2014, but I didn't go full time here on YouTube until about two years ago. And now this is my main source of income is creating content and being here on YouTube. So I'm gonna share with you the 10 ways I make money being a YouTuber. The first way I make money being a YouTuber is through AdSense revenue. I get money from YouTube slash Google every month for the ads that they put in my videos. They put them at the front of my videos. And if my video is long enough, they sometimes Sometimes we'll put mid-roll ads in there. So to get monetized on YouTube that way, you have to be a part of the YouTube Partner Program. There are requirements you have to meet to be invited to be in the YouTube Partner Program. The first one is you have to have 1,000 subscribers. And then the second one is you have to have 4,000 watch hours in a calendar year. You also have to abide by all the YouTube community guidelines and rules and regulations. And once you pass those checkpoints, you're invited into their program, you create a AdSense account with Google. And as they run ads in your videos, they split that revenue share with you. The last I check, YouTube gets 45% of that and I get 55%. So they just keep a tally of that each month and then I get a check around the 21st of each month for all that ad revenue of my videos that were played. The second way I make money on YouTube is through affiliate marketing and links. Since I have tutorials, I use a lot of products on my channel and I will use affiliate links for the products that I use working with different companies that will send them to someone's website. It will track that it's coming from my YouTube channel. And if they make a purchase off of one of my links, I will get a small commission off of that sale. The easiest affiliate marketing to sign up for is Amazon, but Amazon has really dropped their rates in the past year for affiliate marketing. I think right now I typically only get three to 5% of a sale on Amazon, which is not very good, but I have some affiliates that give me up to like 30, 35% for each sale. So it's just going to vary from company to company, but I do have several of those in place with paint companies and paintbrush companies and all the things that you see here on my channel. And I do want to note that it costs you nothing to use a creator's affiliate links. Costs you nothing. So if you like a creator, you should use their links. The third way I make money here on YouTube is through brand partnerships or sponsorships. I will work with different companies and share their products here on my channel, as well as my other social media outlets. Um, and sometimes it even includes licensing the content I create. It takes a lot of money for a marketing department to set up a photo shoot, have the lighting, have the editing, hire the videographer, hire the photographer, um, and get all that collateral. So I'm doing all of that for them. So sometimes I will make a package for someone and they can share it on their social media and their marketing. Um, it looks a bunch of different ways. Sometimes I do giveaways, but it's just partnering with companies that I really like or that really like me and sharing their products here with my audience. The fourth way I make money here on YouTube is through merch sales. I actually have a third party that prints all my merch for me on demand. I created it all and then they print it. It's all housed through YouTube. You have to have a certain amount of followers to be invited into that program, but if you're starting small, a great way to do your own merch is by using a Cricut. You guys have seen me use my Cricut Joy to create custom artwork for my staging, as well as even use it on furniture makeovers. But today I'm gonna show you how you can use your Cricut Joy to create custom merch for your brand using their Smart Iron On. I also have a pair of scissors, a weeder. I've grabbed this basic cotton poly blend sweatshirt, and I'm also gonna be using the Cricut Easy Press 2 along with the mat. I've uploaded my custom pretty 
ready to stress to paintbrush logo into Cricut Design Space, and I'm just figuring out the right sizing for the sweatshirt. When you're doing an iron on, it's really important to mirror your image, especially if it has words, and then I'm just selecting Smart Iron On and loading it into the machine to make sure that there is enough material. You always wanna place this shiny side down when you're putting it into your joy. I really love using the Cricut Joy because it is small, it's very portable, and all the materials you're going to use are smart materials so you don't have to put anything on a cutting mat. This iron-on vinyl has a lot of applications. It's not just for shirts. You could use it on hats, you can use it on canvas bags or totes, and I'm going to show you a couple of other items I created at the end of this project. Once it's done cutting, I'm going to unload my vinyl and then weed it. This little weeding tool comes in handy when you are working with small areas like inside my paintbrush. So I'm just figuring out exactly where I wanna put my icon on the sweatshirt and then I'm gonna use the Easy Press 2 to apply it and I have the little mat underneath it. You could definitely use an iron board or an iron for this, but I'm gonna show you all the reasons I love the Cricut Press and how it makes it so easy to just knock a bunch of these shirts out. So what's great about this press is you can set it to the exact temperature that you need. There is no guessing about the settings on your iron and then you can actually set the time for how long you need to press your piece. My shirt is a cotton poly blend so I'm going to set my temperature at 315 degrees and I'm going to press it for 30 seconds. To start off with I'm going to warm my area up for five seconds and then put my transfer exactly where I want it and then I will do the full 30 second press. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, Christina, how did you know what temperature to set it? How do you know how long to keep it on there? Well, guess what? Cricut has a great reference for you on their website. You can pull it right up through the app. It's their heat guide. You just select which machine you're using, what type of material you are putting on your piece and what you're putting it on. And it will give you the exact temperature you need, how long to press it and the exact order that you do everything in. So I saw in my instructions after I pressed the front of my garment, I'm going to flip it over and do 15 more seconds on the back with the same temperature. My instructions also told me that this is a cool peel, which means I let this cool down completely before I'm taking that backing off. I love how this turned out and if you don't want to carry a lot of stock in merchandise, this is a great way to make on-demand custom pieces for your fans. I also made some custom shoes and a little tote to hold gilding waxes or little artist brushes, so you may be seeing this stuff on my website soon. And you guys, you don't have to have a YouTube channel to make money using your Cricut. You could create your own small business and make custom cards. Uh, apparel, anything you want. The Cricut like has so many options, so it's definitely something worth checking out. The fifth way I make money through YouTube is that I offer online refinishing services over on my website. I get a lot of questions on here now, and with the size of my channel, I just can't answer every single question that comes through. So if somebody needs help beyond the projects and the Q and A's that I have on my channel here, they can contact me for a one-on-one -on -one refinishing service chat. I chat with them and ask them what they're looking for. I recommend products for them. I create a shopping list for them. After they get their products, we set up a video chat and I do one-on-one -on -one instruction with them so that I can walk them through the process that maybe is tripping them up or just give them a little confidence along the way. The sixth way I make money by being a YouTuber is by offering social media coaching over on my website. I get lots of questions, especially from people who are in furniture painting like me. How do I monetize my content? How do I start a YouTube channel? How do I negotiate with brands to, you know, sell my pictures or create content for them? Or how do I land a brand sponsorship? Um, I've learned a lot in the past two years and I just love sharing that information and empowering people to grow grow. So I offer that ability for them to purchase a one-on-one -on -one video chat with me and help them with all things social media. The seventh way I make money being a YouTuber is that I created a online course with all my knowledge in furniture painting. It has all the basics and walks you through everything that is also available for purchase over on my website. And I think it's just helped people that are a little bit intimidated to get to start. Everything is organized really well. You can go through it at your own pace. Um, it's more of a teaching style than the tutorials that you see here on YouTube. And you're not having to hunt and peck through my YouTube videos. So a lot of people have purchased that and then enjoyed that.
The eighth way I make money as a YouTuber is by offering memberships here on my YouTube channel for a small fee. I have a group of people that is part of my membership. They get behind the scenes, sneak peeks. Sometimes they get special videos. Um, I always respond to their comments. They also get a little paintbrush badge by their name. So when we're live chatting, they are highlighted right in front of me. And they also have custom emojis that they can use during my live chats, as well as commenting on my videos. The ninth the way I make money being a YouTuber is through super chats and hopefully eventually super thanks. So a super chat is just something someone can basically give me a tip or just encourage me or say thank you um, by doing a monetary donation on a live chat. They're also launching super thanks soon where you could do that. It doesn't have to be on a live chat. You could do that like anytime and send that to your favorite creator. Um, I don't have access to that yet, but I'm hopefully eventually one day I will, um, again with this one, um, as well as with memberships, which I didn't mention, mention YouTube gets a percentage of that because they're running both of those programs. So when I get a super chat or a thank you or a membership, they are taking a portion of that. Um, the Split is a little bit more fair. I think it's 30% YouTube, 70% me when you uh, purchase one of those. The 10th and final way I make money as a YouTuber is I sell my products that I create in my tutorials. So I still flip furniture. I still sell the majority of the pieces that I make over as long as they're not for myself or for a friend or for a client. Um, and I just sell those on Facebook marketplace. I don't do anything fancy. I don't ship. I don't have time for that. I don't, I'm not interested in that, but there are a lot of people on here that do that and make good money doing it. So maybe that's something for the future. So there you have it. The 10 ways I make money being a YouTuber. I know this is a little different than the videos you're used to seeing. So let me know down in the comments if you like this behind the scenes, if you want to know more about my business, if you want me to go into more specifics about actual dollar numbers. I'll have to think about that one. Um, but if you want any more information about any of the services that I listed during this project, check out the description box. I will link everything down below. Make sure you check out the Cricut. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video today. Um, and I'll be back with another furniture project soon. I'll see you guys next time.